I have not seen any of them. The Max video? Oh yeah, I will watch that. Remind me after this and I'll watch the Max video. These boss fights actually seem like they're going to take a really long time. Because I think those diamonds at the top of like the... Uh, oh, actually, no. Now he's getting dicked. Holy shit. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I don't know about killing the bald eagle, guys. This is... It's a bit fucked up, isn't it? But otherwise, it's okay. Each orb represents one health bar? Yeah. It's kind of like a Lost Ark, instead of like numbers, it's just the, uh, the little diamonds there. It's an American brother. Yep. I'm just waiting for like one day where this can be an MMO and it won't be pay to win. Do you guys think that'll ever happen? That we can actually have like a, a real game like this that's not a fucking pay to win, just bullshit shit fest never happening? in 20 years. Wow. I've just recalled. Uh-oh. It's a Discord moderator. May I show you to its oh, jeez. Oh, uh-oh. That's bad. Bro? Well, you're, you're Twitch moderator. That's totally different. Come on. Yeah, I think that, like, one thing that games, like, it's really important for games to have is the idea where you're running around in the open world and you see large monsters. Like, to me, I feel like that's super fucking important. It's a crazy mod. Yeah, yeah. Only worse bosses are Reddit mods. The Reddit mods, that can be a problem. But it depends on the subreddit, too. Some Reddit mods are very normal. That's not the norm, though. Shadow of Colossus did that really well. Yeah, I mean, it's like, for example, like, whenever you go into, um... What do you call it? Uh, I'm trying to think of, like, what is... Uh, Outland. And you see the big fucking, uh, the, the Fell Reaver, right? Or you're in, like, Red Ridge, and you see that, you know, like, lake monster or something like that. That's so important. Can you just jump on him over and over? Jesus. It seems like spells in this game are really fucking good. And I feel like after the developer or the director of the game said that his main class was a, a sorcerer, I feel like sorcerers are probably going to be, like, really fucking OP. One thing that I, I like about this, too, is, uh... One thing that's important to me is, like, the nuances of the combat and, like, how well it plays. And the fact that you can, like, run in between the character's legs and shit like that, that feels very good. They are I'm playing Dragon's Dogma 1 currently. Yeah, I'm gonna start that tomorrow, man. That's the plan. And I, I want to spend, actually, a pretty good amount of time playing the game. You cap? Hey, hey. Do it while you can. Cap it while you can, because there's only one day left. Do you think this and Elden Ring DLC will be top contenders for Game of the Year? I don't think they're going to give DLC Game of the Year. It's just realistically not what's going to happen. Do I think Dragon's Dogma will be a contender for Game of the Year? Based off of what I understand for what else is releasing for the year? Yes, I do think so. I, I, I think that there's a very good chance that like, yeah, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth might be Game of the Year. Like, I do find it to be kind of odd. Black Myth Wukong. Yep, you're right. That game could come out. It could be really, really good. I think Rebirth takes it. Am I the only person who thinks that it's kind of, like, weird if a game that's a remake or a derivative from an old game gets Game of the Year? I find that to be kind of weird. Yeah, very weird. Yeah, I... I'd like to see it go to a new game. Persona 3 was really good? Yeah, I've heard about that. I've never played Persona. I never got into any of those games. Like, right now, my off-stream games I've been playing a lot of were, um... Well, for a while, it was Monster Hunter, you know? 
And like, I guess after I start playing this on stream, I'll spend like a couple of days playing everything on stream. And then I'll maybe do side quests off stream or something like that. Just to make sure that, you know, like, or I'll do like annoying things off stream, like farming or whatever. Same as I did with Monster Hunter, basically. Just so it's like, oh, if I have to kill like 30 of something, I can just go do that off stream. It's not a big deal. Watch the trailer for Night Wanderer. Yeah, I might. Yeah, I'm, I'm very impressed by the hitboxes. The hitboxes are already, I think they're better than Monster Hunter uh, World. Because, like, I just think about, like, would I get hit by this NPC in Monster Hunter World? Especially with, like, monster charges. Like, I I'll be real. I do think that there are some bullshit hitboxes in Monster Hunter. Like, obviously, it's it's not the game. Like, I think Monster Hunter is a 9 out of 9.5 or a 10 out of 10 game. Like, it's like one of the most amazing games I've played in such a long time. I'm so glad I started playing it. But there are some bullshit hitboxes. 100%. The Lost Gauge. Yeah, this apparently, like, you lose health, like, permanently. So you have to go back to town and, uh, or go back and, um, oh, this guy died. You have to go back to town and, like, regenerate that. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is wildly different from the original game. It's not really fair to say it's a straight remake. That's why I said derivative. Oh, what the fuck? Bro. Where is it? With the eyes? Look at that, bro. That is so fucking cool. Yeah, I love how dark the game is at night. Because I feel like night mode in some games is like, oh, it's like everything's kind of blue. But not with this. This time dogma is actually pretty scary, yeah. How is Dark Souls sequel, or any other sequel, not derivative to the predecessor, though? You think Dark Souls 2 or Dark Souls 3 is the same as Final Fantasy Rebirth? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, maybe I'm misunderstanding the way the game is, but, like, my understanding for Final Fantasy Rebirth um, is that, it, isn't it just basically a remake of Final Fantasy 7 with, like, some different things added? Because I never played the original Final Fantasy 7, so it's hard for me to judge, like, what's real and what's not. Take care where you place your feet. A sharp incline is slight to throw us off balance as tis our enemies. Jesus. Yeah, shouldn't have fucking done that. I wonder what the range combat is gonna be like in this game. Cause I feel like range combat in this game will probably either be like kind of mediocre or like really, really OP. Because, like, if you can just use ranged spells and then sit back and cast them, that's fucking insane. It's probably broken? Yeah. Well, I would assume also, like, it's the same thing as, like, an Elven Ring, where there's some weapons that are harder to use, but they're more fun to use for different people. Like, for example generally like using like playing with like a really big shield and really big weapon is actually pretty easy to do in the game and it makes the game pretty easy but you know if you're playing with like twin blades where you have to roll around a lot and you don't have as much poise break or anything like that then yeah it's going to be harder but it also might be more fun for different people damn He's just getting fucked up by the fire. Bro, look at him. He's just dying and like... They did an entire health bar in like two seconds. It's about the fantasy? Yeah, exactly. Because that's one thing I, I definitely feel is really important. That like some games focus more on balance than fun. And I do hope that like... It seems like this game's not really going to do that. Because like people can always figure out... Especially in like single player games like this people are always going to figure out a way to, like, you know, mod in or do some kind of bullshit to make it easier. Oh, he's on fire. 
I just noticed that. You can see his wings and shit and his health going down. This looks really laggy. Yeah, on consoles, I think the frame rate might be kind of low, but I'm going to be playing it on PC. And I think it has 60 frame rate on a PC, or it might be even higher. I'm sure probably after a couple of days, there might be a mod to where it'll run even higher than that. It's 30 FPS on console? Yeah, well, that's why you don't buy a console. So it runs away the same as the, uh, as in Monster Hunter. Oh, shit, he died. What the fuck? Oh shit. Damn. Damn. Oh. It's a cave troll? Yeah, it's a minotaur? I don't even know what the hell it is, honestly. Yeah, it's so dark. Yeah, you can see it's being played on PS5, too, based off of the controls. So that probably explains a lot of the, uh, the frame rate issues. So your pawns can, like, enchant your weapons and shit and make them do fire damage? Yeah. Just got yeeted. Holy shit. Damn. You can make support pawns? That's what I'm gonna do. Like, I don't know how many of them you're able to have with you at a time. Like, it looks like it's probably like, what? Like, five? You're able to bring five of them with you, and we'll link you guys the video. Three? Okay. So I would want to have... Uh, so it's a team of four. Okay, so like, what would I want to go with? I'd want to go with a healer, or like a buffer. And then I'd probably want to go with like a caster for damage, and then something to hold aggro. Just tank healer DPS. Or I could just have it be three healers and three like, uh, you know, support groups or support characters, and then all of them do all of that just to me. And that's it. Four warriors, no pussies. Sword and shield, name it McConnell. Oh, God.